I disconnected from my Wi-Fi. Maybe my uh, just just wireless phone connection will uh, give us some better results. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it happens sometimes when you're on <clears throat> on the Wi-Fi. I don't know why. Yeah, as I said, I, I found that English could be a little bit tricky when it came to the the grammar. Yeah, well, I mean, our language is a complete mishmash of, uh, like, Germanic and, and like, like, French languages and all sorts of things, so that'll yeah, happen. It, it's a hodgepodge of Germanic and, and Romance languages, so... I mean, I love the Romance languages, like French, Italian, and Spanish, because they have very, very clear rules. Yeah. Germanic languages? Not so much. They feel a little bit more messed up, <laughs> to be honest. I'm not an expert on it, but... Um... I need to learn more languages. I've never, I've never really stuck with a language long enough to learn it. Well, to be honest, I've got most of my languages with me from childhood, so I'm really lazy. I haven't learned any other languages. You just kind of picked them up. Yeah. As an adult, I've failed miserably at learning new languages. But uh, I've picked up well, a little bit here and there, but that's it. But still, I'm like... English is the only language I speak with any level of fluency. I know words here and there of other languages. Well, that's the start. Uh, I mean, for me, I was quadrilingual, I think it's called. Okay. Four yeah. languages? Four languages. But, oh. But they are all Scandinavian, so I mean, it's basically like knowing a different version of English sometimes. Okay, so somewhere between being different languages and just being dialects. More or less, because people will tell you that they are different languages, but they aren't that different, to be honest. Okay. In my opinion, at least. I mean, some people will say that Danish, Danish is un, un, unintelligible. To me, no. But I grew up with that, so... Okay, so... I mean, it's, my grandmother kind of like is Danish. Spanish, Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese are all really similar. Yeah. And that's how I experienced learning as a child, the, the languages, so... I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't seem like these monuments actually have anything underneath them. But I'd like to learn, you know, like some really weird, obscure, made-up language like Klingon, just for, just for the hell of it. Uh, Petak. <laughs> yeah, you know, just to mess with people. Oh, oh got a football recipe. Are you, you ready for some football? What? Wait, you found a football recipe? Yeah, I can make footballs now. Okay, I would love you to make a football, because I want to see what kind of footballs they actually put into this game. They're American footballs. Oh. They're not like soccer balls, unfortunately. Yeah, since I'm European, there's only one kind of football, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, no, they, they put hand eggs into this game. Ah, well, that's okay. I was still kind of curious, like... And also, why a football? Why would there be a recipe for a football? I don't know, I've never even used them, because it seems so useless. Maybe they're like a powerful throwing weapon or something, but I don't know. They might actually be part of a, another recipe for making bombs, perhaps? I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. You just, yeah, you sew, you sew some, like, gunpowder into a pig skin and you got a grenade. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? I like the idea of MacGyvering some shit up here. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite show as a child, MacGyver. He was awesome. Yeah. 
He was also awesome in the Stargate. Yeah, Richard Dean Anderson, is that his name? Yeah. Aha! That's, oh, that's why that... you like him, he's your cousin. Okay. <laughs> Shh, let's not talk about that. Well, he's a cool Canadian dude, though. To be honest, a lot of the really good like TV stars in on US shows are <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. William Shatner. Uh... Uh-huh. Ah! Crap. I fell off the world again. I'm fine. Yeah, that's that's what I get for telling the truth about Canadians. <laughs> uh, they have a they have a like secret gravity control super weapon buried in the. Uh... <laughs> it was someone at Hollywood, you know, just pressing the button and I'm, Woo! world's oh, gone. Oh, you're going. You're heading to the clubhouse. Yeah, I have enough uh, iron now, so we should head back. I think. Yeah. Uh, you might want to put a good amount of your stuff away and see about upgrading our chests too, because we can make iron chests now. Once that was my idea, just to like remove the old chests, put in iron chests, so we can store way more shit now. Yep. And then once you get gold, I think titanium chests happen too in the end game. Hmm. I like that. So furnace. Let's refine some stuff. Oh, we can make linen cloth. Cool. Yeah, um, you can. So, do I have to upgrade the furnace? Right, we need 20 basalt to upgrade the furnace, and that's up to you. Oh, right. Yeah, you have to come here and upgrade it first. Alright. To the clubhouse! Open the portal! I'm on my way to the Legion Clubhouse. <laughs> the oh, Evil no, League one. of Extraordinarily Evil? Well, well, well I was thinking just, be just the Legion of Superheroes from, like, DC Comics. <laughs> yeah, let's build ourselves a rocket ship clubhouse. That'd be awesome. If, really, if the developers watch this, please insert uh, an edit mode so we could do that. Please... Because that would be so awesome. Making a rocket ship. Could we do it like, you know, like Tintin? Going to the moon? Yeah. That like big rocket. The, never read the Tintin comics as a kid because they weren't really big in the States, but we did get a, the, the TV show. Oh, you did? Like the adventures of Tintin? Yeah. Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, let's, you know, the, the dog is called, like, Snowy in English, right? Maybe? It's been a while since I've seen it. I think it was something like that, because I, I remember it was, like, something completely different in my language. I was so confused, like, Snowy? Who the fuck is Snowy? Woo! There you go. Thank you. By the way, how's your inventory looking? Uh... I have three yeah. empty. Okay, here's some coal. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> some coal? Damn. Uh, some. Okay, we need yeah. obsidian for the next Enough. level. Enough coal. Obsidian we don't get until after the next boss fight. Okay. We'll get 35 bars of iron after this. Okay. So we'll have plenty. Yeah, iron is what we're going to use to upgrade all of these. The altar, the anvil, everything. Yeah, and I guess also new recipes for us. Like new armor and stuff like that. Correct. Cool. Cool. Lulu, 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 lulu. 
I mean, this game has worked really hard to be a little bit Minecrafty without being Minecraft. So, really, yeah. they should have have an edit mode. <laughs> but I love our clubhouse. It's beautiful. Yeah, we did. We did a good job. Well, you did. You were the one who actually single-handedly built this entire thing. So, my hat is off for, to you, sir. Uh, and at some point, I'll probably probably make a dedicated storage room that just has a bunch of chests in it. I think that's a good that idea. And you know we have to make a dungeon. Ooh! Oh yeah, because we have all the the like uh, cage pieces. Yeah, I picked up all like doors and shit. So. Why isn't the why isn't the pumpkins growing? Maybe they need more space. Make myself a nice abattoir in the basement with all sorts of torture tools. I mean, a a uh, a, a justice chamber. Well, to... if you want to go full Leatherface on someone's ass, I'm of I'm okay with that. Yes, <clears throat> I will fight. Evil things in my justice chamber. <laughs> you For... really have to read the. What the hell was it called again? Uh, Confessions of a D list supervillain. Okay. It's an explanation, actually, to why I prefer supervillains and, and evil people over superheroes. They're, I mean, they're just legitimately more interesting, usually. Yeah. And as the character put it, it's like, they're all assholes anyway. <laughs> okay, let's put one down here. Yeah, I'd like to have the chest out here to be only for seeds so we can grow stuff. Alright. Sounds like a plan. I like how it's facing the wrong way. It's facing the wrong way? Yeah, it's facing yeah, the wrong way. Yeah, like, <laughs> I watch, didn't even watch notice when that. I open it. Watch when I open yeah. it. I saw, I saw, I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's done. Oh my god, we have so much iron. Oh yeah. So if you want to go around, see what these need for upgrading. And, uh... Yeah, workbench upgraded, anvil upgraded. Oh, you're gonna need some palm resin. Do you have any of that yet? Palm resin. Um, I had. Uh, I'm out of palm resin now, so I'll have to go back and get some palm resin from. I think it's two six. Okay. I have to just cut down some palms, and it will be fine. I think it's good that we actually took a break in the middle of uh, recording because now the game is not um, lagging so much as it used to do. Well, that's good. I think it might be like a conflict between the recording software and the game. That might be. Yeah. And last time I thought it actually filled up my entire, entire hard drive. It hadn't. It was 50 gigabyte, but still, I had plenty of room left. Huh. So I don't know what happened. 